So I have to admit that coming to America four years ago and seeing a lot of pit bulls, reading a lot of media story, you know, of pit bull attacks. I didn't really have a great image of them. A woman in Burien who was attacked by a pit bull in July recovers from her disfiguring injuries. There are close to 100 stitches holding them together after a pit bull attack. Blood remains on the side of the home where the attack happened. As a photographer, you know, I wanted to challenge myself to work with a subject that makes me uncomfortable and also see the power that photography could have. And my question was, could I change the perception of pit bulls just with photography? So I created Flower Power Pit Bulls of the Revolution. It's a series basically of pit bulls wearing flower crowns. And the idea behind it is to invite the viewer to look at pit bulls with an open mind and from a completely different perspective. There are bad people out there who use what's wonderful about these breeds, which is they're loyal, they're smart, they are there to, to, to please their humans. We all remember the Michael Vick story. They hone into that wonderful trait um, and use it, twist it around, and use it to train them to do something very bad, such as dog fighting. I read something, there's a Pomeranian killed a baby. That doesn't get sensationalized because it's a small dog, nobody cares. Pit bulls, they're big, they look mean, especially when you cut their ears off, so they're an easy target. I still understand that dogs have limits, but I'm not as skittish around them as I used to be. The Pitbull Flower Power Project, it's also to invite people to be, you know, make, you, make up your own opinion. It's okay if you hate Pitbulls, but what's not okay is if you don't try to understand them, uh, maybe go volunteer in a shelter and see for yourself what kind of dogs they are. Not everybody has to love them. After Flower Power came out, um, most of the reactions were super positive because it was mostly people that love Pitbull that came to me saying, thank you so much for finally portraying them the way I see them. Uh, unfortunately, there was also a small percentage of people that don't like Pitbulls and thought my series was very irresponsible. I never said all Pitbulls were nice. But most Pitbulls, and at least the ones that are in the shelters I work with, they've been assessed, you know, they've been trained. The, the shelter staff knows their temperament. America has a very serious Pitbull crisis. Oh God, please child your boy.